My name is Barsha Tirakonda and I'm a rising junior studying computer science. This summer, I had the opportunity to work with Professor Michael Wellman's strategic reasoning group on their research. The strategic reasoning group develops computational tools to support reasoning about complex strategic scenarios, including trading in markets, cybersecurity, and other applications. One of the most active projects focuses on the implications of algorithmic and high-frequency trading in financial markets. The group has created a web application known as Empirical Game Theoretic Analysis Online, or EGTA Online, to test these implications through the use of simulation-based games. This summer, I worked on adding a new analysis script for EGTA Online that would take a Nash Equilibrium profile for a particular game and calculate the bootstrap confidence interval for its regret. A game consists of players of certain roles who adopt a particular strategy or set of strategies. Every profile has a set of payoff observations. In layman's terms, a profile's regret is how much higher the player's payoff would be if they switched to a different strategy while everyone else stays the same. A Nash Equilibrium is a profile such that a player cannot improve their payoff by switching to a different strategy. Thus, the regret is zero. The code I wrote calculates a confidence interval for the regret of a suspected equilibrium. To do this, it takes a bootstrap sample of the payoff observations for the profile and uses their average to calculate the regret. The user can specify how many times this process is repeated to create a distribution. The confidence interval is determined using this distribution. This gives us confidence that a profile is indeed an equilibrium. This experience was definitely very enlightening for me. In addition to advancing my knowledge of Python and Ruby, I learned a lot about what it means to be a researcher. In particular, I learned that academic research is a collaborative effort. No one person has all the answers, and oftentimes it takes a lot of ideas bounced back and forth to find the right way to approach or solve a problem.